All right, so welcome back to another Rotobeck video. These are some, I'm really pumped about this video right here because this film down in Georgia in the swamps down there, these some good old Georgia boys. A lot of people who watch my videos should recognize who these are right here. So when you do, point it out in the comments. Let me know, let Rotobeck know who it is there if you would. Of course, Pierre knows, but this video right here, <laughs> Pierre can't really follow the machine around because he would have to have hit waders on it to do it. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in just a little bit, probably at about the five minute and 20 second mark and pick back up with the voiceover because this he's got to get the machine out there in the swamp and kind of get going. So I'll be back in just a minute and uh, I'll explain the grapple he's running and the grapple saw and all that good stuff. So y'all just hang tight. So this right here is a really good combination. This is a Tiger Cat machine with 36 inch triple grouser pads on it. Very well suited for running in real wet ground like what he's in right now. Got a good reach on the machine. Works very well with the Rotobeck. This Rotobeck right here, I can tell you exactly what this Rotobeck is. This is a 4552 SHD model grapple which is the same grapple that I run except this SHD. It's got a bigger center pin. The C-frame on it's beefed up a lot thicker metal on it. But one thing that I really like about this grapple here, it has a grapple saw on it just like mine, except it's not exactly just like mine. I run a 404 pitch chain on mine. This is the big boy right here. This is the 750. The three-quarter pitch chain has a three-quarter inch saw curve. 
these things are absolute teetotal beast right here but the cost is a little bit more on them you're gonna spend you know roughly at the time when i bought mine the price difference between the 404 and the 750 was about ten thousand uh, dollars you know if you're buying it like what i had to do after i bought the machine you know that's a lot of money to come up with right there but if you're buying a machine new uh the 750 man and when, when we get another one that's what i'll go with i'll go with the 750 even though i don't like i don't like the bigger chains uh they've got now they've got these things rpms on those 750s where they're running so so fast and and they'll they'll cut look at the saw chips flying off this thing it's flying higher than the than the boom is right there like i said these, these things are just absolute teetotal beast man and uh but I love to watch this. I love it when Pierre has videos from the southeast here where I'm at because I can relate to these guys, really, you know, understand what they're dealing with and what they're going through. And this is very comparable to what Bobby Goodson does on Swamp Loggers. So, hope y'all enjoy watching this. Uh, man, you, you can't beat these grapples right here in this in the situation. But y'all y'all like it? Y'all please subscribe to Rotabet. And I am Cotton Top 3. For those of you who don't know, come over to my channel and check me out. I sure would appreciate it. And as I say at the end of all my videos, later taters! Thank you.